Hello and welcome to this video. It's Leonard here from DigitalLearner.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to walk you step by step on how to trade features on the KuCoin exchange. Alright, so um, this video is going to be a step by step guide on what features trading is all about on the KuCoin exchange and how you can start making money with it. Alright, so if you are new to the channel, if this is the first time of seeing my videos, then consider subscribing okay if you love videos about making money online about crypto trade investing consider subscribing hit the notification bell to be the first to be notified each time videos like these are published on this channel all right so kucoin is a very unique exchange is a unique crypto trading exchange it is the exchange okay of the people all right as you can see on the website here one out of four crypto holders worldwide are with kucoin all right so um, if you are not if you don't have a KuCoin account already, then you're missing. Okay, you can actually use the link in the video description to sign up for a free account, get your account verified, and you can start trading um, with a KuCoin exchange. All right. So there are a lot of goodies that comes with KuCoin exchange that you stand a chance to benefit from. So if if you are a new user, okay, if you don't have a KuCoin account already, you can sign up for a KuCoin account today and stand a chance to you know. Um, win up to $500 in bonuses, okay? Just use the link in the video description to sign up for an account. And once you sign up for an account, you need to log into your account. So once you log into your account, okay, you want to go to where it says derivatives, okay, and then go to features classic and click on it. So once you click on the features, okay, it brings you to this interface. Now, by default, um, your own interface is going to be white, okay? It's going to be white i've actually changed mine to the dark team that's why you're seeing the dark team here so if i want to change that um to start with okay let's start with changing the team okay i want to go to here all right here you see where you have the 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 setting icon here so you click on it so once you click on it you want to come in here to layout and click on layout so here you can switch from you know the main white color team to the dark team okay you can just switch to any one i prefer the dark team so i'll switch back to the dark team okay so once i switch back to the dark team i'll just close this up all right and this is the interface now with the kucoin um trading features on kucoin uh, exchange is very simple okay um there are no isolated margins there are no the cross margin okay but majorly what you trade here is the isolated margin. Isolated margin is when you get liquidated and you're losing the money that you're risking for the trade alone. For instance, I have a trade currently going that is going against me right now. Okay. And then the amount that I'm risking for this trade that is currently going is uh, this 100 USDT. So meaning that this is my liquidation price. Okay. This is my liquidation price. Meaning that if I'm liquidated, okay, it is only this 100 USDT that I'm going to lose. All right. So um, there is no option for you to select whether you want to use cross mode or margin mode. There is nothing like that in the KuCoin exchange, okay? And then um, when you come in here, this is your trading view interface, what that has been integrated into the KuCoin exchange. So you can add all of your indicators here, okay? And then start taking your trades as you wish, okay? You can click on this icon to expand this, okay? All right. So once I click on that, that icon, it expands this, okay? And then when I click on it, it docks this back to its position again, all right? So that is it. If you want to add indicators to your chart here, you just come in here to indicators, okay? You can just type in and add all of the indicators that you want. If you want to change the candles um, sticks, okay? So I click here, this is the candle, the main candlestick. If you want to change it to bars, you just click and it changes to buy. If you want to change this to, um, any of these candlesticks, whether line areas or the Akanesi candlesticks, you can do that, okay, and it switch that automatically for you, all right? So I'll go back to the main candlesticks, all right? And then the, these are your drawing tools, okay? Yeah, um, if I, for instance, if I want to use the measurement tool, I can just click on it, okay? And then click, let's say I enter the street here, and then I would have made about... Um, around 1.9 percent or so okay so you can just use your drawing tools and use it to interact with the kucoin exchange everything within the kucoin exchange all right so at the top here where you have timeline these are your um different you know time frames okay right now the chart is on the five minutes time frame i can switch back to the 15 minutes time frame i can switch to you know the one hour time frame i can switch to the eight hours time frame the four hours time frame the daily time frame 
okay so you can switch in between the time frames if you want more you just click on the more okay the weekly time frame if you want that you can go and do that all right so this is where you select the pairs you want to trade okay um there are a lot of pairs here on the kucoin exchange that you can actually start trading with all right so you see all of the pairs and here if i click on favorite all of the coins that are favorite okay all of the pairs that are favorite you see them here okay if you want to select anyone you just come in here to the usdt tab you can type okay let's say you want to trade um for instance rows okay rows um, um usdt perpetual you just go ahead and click on that so whatever coin you want to trade you just go ahead and select it down here okay and then um here you will see all of the you know statistics of the market currently okay so you see the change in the market in the past hours okay you see the market price okay the index price the official um, rate sorry the funding rate for those of you who, are, who will be trading perpetuals this is the funding rate okay and then you see where you have the next okay funding will be in an hour time okay so um so the next funding will be in an hour time you have the 24 hours change the 24 hours high the volume traded okay the turnover in the last 24 hours the you know highs the lows all of that you see all of those statistics here okay and then here is your order book all right these are your order book where you have the buyers and the sellers okay so you have the other books for the buyers and the sellers and then the trades okay and then this interface is where you carry out all of your trades so here is where we're going to be carrying out all of our trades where we're going to buy okay and on the features the kucoin futures trading um, platform you can only use either limit orders or um, you use the stop orders okay limit orders stop orders and then this icon represents the market order this icon here okay if i hover over it you see that it says um place order at market price okay so this is market order so you can either do limit or you do stop okay or you do market order all right so i can come in here to buy long or then buy short okay basically this is everything you need to know about the kucoin so if i want to place a trade for instance right now all i just need to do okay btc all right so i have my indicators here let me go back to the 15 minutes time frame i like trading on the 15 okay when i'm scalping the market um either trade on the 15 minutes time frame or the five minutes time frame so here on the 15 minutes time frame um i there's no good opportunity to enter the market right now because um definitely what i use is rsi okay whenever the rsi is at the overbought level i'll go ahead and you know um short the market and then when it's at the oversold level i go ahead and you know long the market i've tweaked the rsi already so the um red line here is representing my 30 level okay which is representing the overbought level the oversold level and then here the green line is representing my 70 um, um upper band line okay which is representing the overbought level okay so when this um rsi in line is above this okay it's trading at this level so i'll go ahead and short the market and then when it's trading below this level i'll go ahead and long the market that is how i use this but right now in the 15 minutes time frame there's no good opportunity for that so we can enter a trade right now so here on the, um, the five minutes time frame yeah the rsi is about touching the 70 and then it started pointing down again okay um it could reverse here yeah, or continue to go upward or there about but for the purpose of this demonstration let me just go ahead and place a trade for for you okay so to place a trade once you select the token okay i come in here to the trading interface all right the place order you see that my leverage okay with the kucoin exchange you can trade up to 100x leverage okay you can trade from as one as low as 1x leverage to 100x okay so the leverage you use this depend on the, um, the amount of money you have on your account so please make sure that you don't use higher leverage because the higher your leverage the closer you are to your liquidation price and once you're liquidated you lose your money okay so be careful and then one good thing that kucoin has on the exchange that i love a lot is this auto deposit margin all right if you check this on once you check this auto deposit margin for whatever trade you are going into okay in as much as you have enough funds in your account 
KuCoin will continually automatically be depositing into your margin to make sure that they sustain or keep you from you know getting liquidated okay you can only use this when you are sure of the market if you are not sure okay um it's better you lose little than you lose the whole money because the more you continue to add to your margin the more um funds you will lose at the end of the day okay whether you get liquidated or not the more funds you stand to risk um in this trade okay so i just enable that and then go ahead and click on confirm okay so i want to go ahead and trade uh, with the market order let me just enter a trade with the market order just go ahead and select okay i can enter the limit order here then i'll go ahead and add the price currently the price of bitcoin is 23198 so i can go ahead and enter let's say i want to enter when the price gets to 23200 or, or thereabout but i just go ahead and enter here then lose, use market order okay once i use market order how many btc do i to trade i just go ahead and click on one btc okay so once i click on one btc now i am going to short the market okay so here you have take profit of long and then take profit of short okay so if i'm going to short the market i'll go ahead and click on the take profit for short okay then you get you know this um uh, screen help and the rest let me just skip this so um, i'll go ahead and enter the trade um, for for take profit for short okay i want to take profit when this market drops to um 23053 dollars okay so i'll just go ahead and add 23 okay sorry so i'll add 23053 okay so once I enter 23053, that is um, 23,053 um, USDT, that is where I want to take profit. I can go ahead and put in my stop loss, okay, if you want, okay. Um, so I, I don't stay in my trade very long, okay. What I do is scalp in the market, so I don't stay very long in the trade, so um, I don't really use stop loss, all right, because um, the trade can will always go in my favor, all right. So what is it going to cost us to actually trade one BTC with 100s leverage? It's going to cost us this amount, okay. This is what it will cost us, whether we want to long the market or short the market, okay. This is what is going to cost us this 200, and if you are longing it, to cost you 245 um, dollars, and then if you are shorting. It will cost us $234, okay? So I'll go ahead. Once I put in my take profit level, i just go ahead and click on sell short. And then it will ask me to confirm this. Yes, i just go ahead and click on sell. And then I'll put in my trading password, okay? So once I put in my trading password, go ahead and click on confirm. And then you see that the order has been filled. So if I come down here, you see my BTC order has been filled, all right? So this is my BTC order that has been filled. This is the entry price. This is the market price. And then I'll be liquidated once this price goes up to, because I'm using 100S leverage, you see how close are my liquidation prices. Okay. So I'll be liquidated when this price gets up to 23,200. All right. So my risk level right now is at this 55.12%. Um, okay. So what I can do right now, because this is what I enter the market with, these two, um, 217 okay 217 this is what i enter the market all i just need to do is to add margin to this and that will you know scale this um, liquidation price so i'll go ahead and click on this icon here so once i click on that icon i'll go ahead and add like a thousand dollars to to that okay so i just go ahead and add a thousand dollars and then my liquidation price will now be adjusted to twenty four thousand. okay what if i add two thousand dollars okay to 26 if i add it let me just make it five thousand dollars all right so five thousand dollars my liquidation price will now be adjusted to twenty eight thousand dollars so just go ahead and click on confirm all right so once i confirm that you see this is the margin that i'm now risking okay this is when i will be liquidated at this twenty eight five hundred okay now that i've added margin you see that already this trade is going in profit okay um, for every 3% move, we're making $37 and it goes on like that. All right. So if I scroll with this um, to the left or to the right, okay. So once I scroll to the right, you see the take profit level is equally here. So if I want to add the take profit and stop loss, just go ahead and click on the, this icon. You see that the auto deposit is enabled for this, but it is not enabled for the second one. Okay. So I just go ahead and click on this icon. 
All right. So I'll say I want to take profit when the market increases by 200%. It means that um, to make 200% of this, okay, to make 200% of this, okay. So what it simply means, because I'm shorting the market, that Bitcoin will have to drop to $12,000 for me to make 200%. Okay, let's say I want to make 50%. Bitcoin will need to drop to 20,000. If I want to make 25%, Bitcoin will need to drop to 21,000. Okay, 21,800, which is very possible. Okay, and then if it dropped to 21,800, we are going to make it, we'll be making a profit of around uh, um, 1,300. But I take one entry day to drop to 23,000. Okay, $53. Okay, um, 53. All right, so this will be making us around $124 in just that trade, okay? Then the stop loss, if you want to um, do um, 5%, okay, it means that when it gets to this, you'll be losing around $200 and something dollars and thereabout, okay? So that's how you put in your take profit and stop loss, okay? As I said earlier, I like scalping the market. I don't like staying in the market for long. And you can see this trade is going um, in my prof in my um, in, 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 in favor of me, okay? This trade is going in my favor already so if i want to close this trade now just go ahead and click on market okay once i click on market i'll just go ahead and click on 100 percent and then click on confirm and then i would have made some profit okay then limit you just set limit and then when it gets to that limit you go ahead and then close the trade and so on all right so basically that is everything you need to know about you know trading with the kucoin um features trading exchange okay features trading option and um, for this trade that is going against me, one thing I can do, okay, to avoid this trade going against me, if I go ahead and click on the Ethereum Perpetua here to load up the chart, okay, so the chart is loaded, and then our entering price was, this is the entering price, where is our entering price? So this is the Ethereum we are trading, we entered the market at, I know, 1,634, 36, okay, and then this is the current market and the current price. At a thousand, you know, six ninety one. All right. What I can do in this trade right now is to use market order and enter a trade. Remember, this is what um, it cost me actually to enter just zero point one, um, zero point three one Ethereum. Now I want to add to this to bring my take profit level closer. Okay. So what I want to do is um, this is what the market price. Remember, this is the market price at one thousand six three six okay and then this is the current price 1691 so what i can do right now is to use the same 5x leverage okay and then i want to trade um let me use market order by clicking on this icon okay and then i want to trade one ethereum okay so when i click on one it is going to cost me two i'm going to short it okay um the trade we have here is um, a short trade okay so i'm going to short the market so if i click on that it's going to cost me about 340 dollars okay so i just go ahead and click on sell short and then click on confirm all right that has been filled so we now have 1.31 ethereum and then our entering price now is 1677 okay as against the 1300 plus okay 1631 so right now it has pushed it upward okay bringing us closer to the market and then we can make price i can repeat this again this is a thousand um thousand six seventy seven okay and the current price is a thousand six eighty seven all right so i can bring it closer again by just going to do 0.5 i can come in here and do 0 0.5 um, ethereum okay go ahead and click on sell and then go ahead and click on confirm and that has been filled so right now our price entering price is now closer to you know the market price so our entry price is now 1680 why the entering price the market price is 86 all right so with just a little drop of this we are going to be making profit but the problem here is our liquidation price is closer okay this is our liquidation price if i want to increase this i'll go ahead and add to the margin the margin here is 600 so if i add a thousand dollars it will take that liquidation price further all right so it will now take it from two thousand dollars to about two thousand five hundred what if i make it um let's say five thousand dollars and i took it to four thousand seven hundred go ahead and click on confirm okay so i've confirmed that 
so the more it drops so when, once it drops to 80 something or there about we are going to be making profit this one was, is already 50 dollars in profit and so on so this um style i'm showing you with the ethereum trade that i have here is just um for you know you to avoid being liquidated in market okay for you to avoid being liquidated in market and doing this it means that you need to have funds in your account if you want to go into crypto trading it is a business okay aside the fact that you need to acquire the skill to know how to trade where to put your stop loss where to put your take profit when to enter the market and stuff like that you equally need capital to trade it is a business there is nobody that goes into business with an empty hand okay so you need a lot of funds this is not hundred dollars one thousand dollars trading capital or whatever you need funds okay to be able to play around in the market and make profit all right to be able to play around in the market and make profit you need good money okay so if your budget is um to start up a business with ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars hundred thousand dollars you can do that you apply that to the crypto space and you can make a lot of money okay you can imagine putting fifty or twenty thousand dollars into your kucon account and then you play around if you're in this part of the world where a dollar is almost getting to a thousand naira okay to one dollar and then you're making let's say you're just making hundred dollars every day you risk five thousand dollars to make hundred dollars when the market is very good okay when the market is very good let me go to my um, position history here when the market is very good this is seven hundred dollars this is just one trade this is seven hundred dollars this is three hundred dollars this is five hundred dollars and it goes on that way one hundred and nineteen dollars then here i just lose two dollars and then the first one here yeah, this and then this one here is just a dollar plus okay so you can be making a whole lot of money there is a lot of money to be made in the crypto space a lot of money to be made in this space so you need money actually to you know be able to start trading the market the way you want and be making money from it so you see that this will go in our favor okay so i just go ahead and, and set take profit and then let me just go ahead and you know edit the take profit level so i'll go ahead the for the bitcoin i want it to be i can close it when i want but let me just say 25 percent 25 percent will make us about a thousand dollars plus okay so i'll just go ahead and confirm that then for the ethereum i'll just go ahead and set the take profit as well let's say 25 percent no 900 will be to let me just say 1500 okay um let me put 1500 for ETH. okay if it gets to 1500 we're making 300 plus okay just go ahead and click on confirm and then I'll confirm that. So I'll be looking at the trade. Whenever it goes in my favor, I'll just go ahead and close the trade. And that is it. Okay. One thing you should note is that in KuCoin, there is no edge mode where you can open both short and long position at the same time. There's no option for that in KuCoin. So you just a one way mode. All right. So basically, that is all you need to do about you know trading features with KuCoin. I hope the video was helpful. If it is, give it a thumbs up. And if you are stuck with anything done um you forget to use the comment section if you want to join my telegram group link will equally be in the video description once again if you don't have a coupon account sign up with the link i've provided in the video description all right so basically that is it and um i'll see you guys in the next video so if you do have um, questions anything you're stuck with always ask questions and i will definitely attend to those questions using the comment section all right so if you want to go into crypto business you need funds okay you need real money and aside aside needing real money you need the skill to do that okay you need the skill to do that you can imagine making a thousand dollars five hundred dollars ten thousand dollars every day trading crypto how will you feel about that let me know in the comment section i'll see you in the next video